I'ma keep it a bean. Stick to the script every scene. This from last year, but they clean. Say to say, I'ma take some else, but it's winning team. Charlie Sheen, fam gang, the regime. I'm from Piney Green. What's good, I'm Charlotte but you can call me Coach, and I'm back out again with a brand new video. And I'm gonna keep it a bow braid biscuit. Usually, I get on these videos and I start spitting Fendi facts, but today I'm gonna need y'all's help because I do not know what to think. And I'll be real with y'all, this wasn't really my original idea. This was a joke someone made. I'm friends with a lot of people who are fans of other teams in the NFL. And someone made a really lame joke about not being sure if Cam was going to be healthy for week one. And they said, even if he is healthy, he wouldn't play him against the Rams. And at first, I dismissed all that as a lame joke. Like, hey, 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 I'm really right about your team, bro. Your team did way worse than we did last year. And that's hard to do. But after seeing this whole Andrew Luck thing go down, it's got me thinking... Week one against the Rams, do I really want to see Cam after, you know, his whole shoulder issue and then the ankle issue and then also with how the O-line has been, we'll call it how, how it is, O-line ain't been playing great. Is that something I really want to see Cam subjected to his very first week back? Look, we all know about Aaron Donald and how he is the best at what he does, the best defensive player in the league. You might even call him the best player in the league overall. But then there's Dante Fowler Jr. who did have four sacks last year, eight sacks the year before, and four sacks his rookie season in the league. And this right here is going to be a, a contract year for him. So he's been trying to go hard. There's also Clay Matthews. Now Clay Matthews is kind of an older guy. He came in the league two years before Cam, but he's still been putting up some numbers. Three and a half sacks last year, seven and a half sacks the year before. I won't go through all the stats, but just know that he's been in the league for 10 years and he has 83 and a half sacks to his name. That's something serious. There's Michael Brockers. He had only one sack last year, but the year before he had four and a half. And this guy is, is also pretty good. But it's not just about the front seven when it comes to sacks. There's a thing called coverage sacks. And that's when the secondary plays so good that there's nothing open downfield and the quarterback's stuck in the pocket and the pass rush gets to him because he can't just throw it away and get intentional grounding. The Rams have Nikel Roby Coleman, Aqib Tlaib, Eric Weddle, who I'm not really all that sold on. He made it to the Pro Bowl last year, but his stats were horrible for the Ravens last year. He got on the Pro Bowl by name alone. He did not play good last year at all, but they also drafted Taylor Rapp, Probably, maybe not the best strong safety. Definitely in the top two, top three strong safeties in the draft last year. I know a lot of Panthers fans really wanted him, but he's a strong safety. I think he had four sacks his last year in college. Did he go to Washington? I forgot where he came from. But the point is, they have a really good secondary over there in the Rams. And it's kind of tough when you have to deal with the secondary and the front seven being pretty talented. And knowing that Cam's coming off of a two-year nagging shoulder injury and then this really sudden ankle injury that we are not really all that sure just how healthy or just how serious it was. Now, we've heard reports and whatnot from Coach Rivera, but let's not sit here and pretend that every single time Coach Rivera gets in front of the media, or not even just him, any coach, any GM, any executive, every time they get in front of the media, they're telling the whole truth, nothing but the truth, so help them God. So we understand there's, there's levels to it. But the point is, it's got me really wondering, do we want to subject Cam to this right here, to this Rams defense? And I have no doubt in his ability, if he was 100% healthy, to carve them up and do what he got to do. But if his ankle injury is actually serious or even nagging, if he's not at 100%, if he's at like 80%, I don't like him to be able to get away from this pass rush to be able to make all these moves on his first week back. He's looked good, but it's about him. It's about that old line and it's about just how good this Rams D is. If I was sure that Cam was 100% healthy, I would say, yes, we can win this game. I'm not all that sure just how good his ankle is. It's, it's, it's one thing to wrap an ankle up. It's a whole other thing to, to get it in a walking boot. We all know about the, the compression with the plane and that kind of stuff. That's cool. But Aaron Donald, this whole defense, the secondary, and how we've been seeing this old line play lately has got me a little bit worried, man. I don't really know. That's why I'm asking you. Has this right here even crossed your mind? Are you confident in the O line? Are you 100% sure that Cam is 100% good to go? Not just with his shoulder, but his ankle as well. What do you think about the Rams' defense? Would you ever consider not starting one player because of a matchup? And do you think that we can win this game against the Rams? 
I do, but it depends on how the O-line's playing. Let me know all your thoughts in the comments below, and you already know to do with that like button. Cheers to you, appreciate the chance. Being told y'all I been the man. Being told y'all I had the gift. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Real ones gonna recommend. Count this as another win.